So, I kind of discussed this on Reddit a little bit already, but I kind of want to give my full thoughts on this, because I feel like it doesn't really come out in text very much. So, there's people complaining about the Death Star 3.0, which is the Star Killer base. And I guess I could see why they might be complaining because it's it, it really is similar to A New Hope. I can agree with that, but it they don't seem like they're thinking about the story very much when they're complaining. It's more so that they don't want to see that again. But with the Death Star existing, it seems logical that the Star Killer base would exist. Like you had both Death Stars got destroyed, and you, as some people were saying you think they learn. But, you have to look at it this way, because they are they have 30 years after 6. If 30 years between then and Force Awakens, where they've regained as much power as they have. And part of that, after reading the book, part of that is from the people in the galaxy not wanting to think for themselves. That, like, Leia was talking about how that was an issue when she was... They were trying to rebuild after everything. The people didn't want to convert to thinking for themselves because they liked being told what to do. So that's definitely part of the reason why the New Order got their influence so fast, but unless they have the nuclear option that they can actually intimidate with, it just it wouldn't make sense that they would have rose to power so fast. It seems like the Star Killer base is kind of necessary for them to be able to have the, the influence they have because they have to be somewhat threatening more so than the resistance is because besides Starkiller base and the new Star Destroyer that's really the only advantage that the New Order has besides maybe numbers but you'd think if that was it there'd probably be bigger numbers than the resistance too so I just don't understand why people can, will complain about Starkiller because I mean they, they have to use the technology obviously they already had because it's only been 30 years they can't I'm sure I don't know how fast development is in the Star Wars universe, but it doesn't seem like it'd be that fast. So they kind of just have to scale up what they have. As far as like economics go, it's hard to calculate like body to price ratio based off of your weapons because like how do you calculate if a nuke is worth the money it costs to make, right? Because the Death Star's killing an entire planet. You know, Death Star can obliterate a planet, just destroy everything on it. So, if you're thinking about that way, Star Killer kills 5, even if it can't move, which some people said they don't think that it can move around, which I don't think is true, but if it, even if it can't move around and it could only do it one time, is I feel like 5 planet destructions is worth, right? Maybe some of our moons, but you know, that's a pretty good, like, 30 years of work you kill 5 planets, that's not bad. So, I don't really see why people are so upset about it, because it just logically makes sense if they're trying to force the hand of the galaxy and kind of have control. They need an option, they can't just have an army, you have to have something else or you're just not going to win. And as far as it, them destroying it too easily, I heard someone said that. I wouldn't say that, I mean, security can only go so far, you can't nothing's fully secured there's always a way to take something down so if you think of everything that happened they had to account for a ship going into light speed past their shields they did account for that account for somebody going into the thermal reactor with sticky grenades and blowing it up from the in inside you have to account for that and you have to account for a pilot that's good enough to fly through a hole in the thermal reactor and blow it up from the inside. How- you can't secure against that, that's too- like the Death Star, that's flawed because you just have a fucking hole where the whole thing had blown up, but Starkiller had a lot of defenses, they couldn't even take it out from the outside and it was 30 seconds away from blowing up the entire resistance, so it seems like it's a pretty damn good base. So I don't really, I don't really see it. I don't see what people complain it. You guys tell me what you think, but I just, I don't see the issue. 